I predict that you're about to meet our next magician. I had a past that I am not proud of. I was what was known as a grifter or con man. Kind of lived in the shadows. Back in uh, 2005 or so, I needed to disappear. I went on the run and ended up in Las Vegas. And I was living under a false identity. And I looked up and Pendulette walked by. For some reason, I had to say hello. He was kind to me. And everything that he knew about me was a lie. Penn's kindness helped me realize I didn't like who I'd become. So I turned myself in. I spent five years of my life in prison practicing bizarre magic and spirit magic. Every aspect from mentalism to cards to coins. I've been performing magic since I walked out of prison. Now here I am as my true self, trying to con Penn and Teller with magic. With three randomly selected members of our audience, here is the mysterious Aiden Sinclair. Ladies and gentlemen, every illusion begins with a lie. And in the year 1848, there were two little girls in Hydesville, New York, that told a lie. And that lie became one of the greatest illusions of all time. In fact, an illusion that's performed to this very day, but not by magicians. It is an illusion that is performed by, well, charlatans and confidence artists. You see, these two little girls told a lie that they could talk to the dead. And in fact, at this very moment, somewhere in America, there is some fraud medium who's still trying to convince people that their ghosts could cross over. That being said, I'd like to try a little seance magic for Penn and Teller tonight. Allison, would you care to join us at the seance table? It's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the seance table. Now, I know there are some creepy things in front of you. There is a spirit board on the table. Uh, a lot of people are sensitive around Ouija boards. That's way older and creepier, so don't let that bother you. Uh, Allison, the doll, I, I know, can be a little weird. Some people actually believe if you look them in the eyes, uh, they'll steal your soul. Uh, this is Evie. Uh, Evie is one of the artifacts from the historic Stanley Hotel. She actually belonged to a young lady whose name was Lillian McGuire. Uh, she passed away, uh, sadly, by her own hand in the year 1926. Evie. Uh, some people believe she does contain a spirit. And tonight, I'd like to see if that spirit will come out and play, so to speak. And to do this, I'd like to play a game of hide and seek. Now, obviously not with her, uh, but uh, with a thing. In my pocket, I have a little bag. And in that bag are four things. Uh, very simple things, actually, when you think about it. Uh, nothing haunted or creepy. In fact, uh, I want you to be assured that all of this stuff on the table, as creepy as it is, uh, it's not going to follow you home and haunt you or possess you with demons or give you nightmares, unless it does. So, uh, in my hand, I have a few things. I have three black beads and a pearl something that a young girl would be drawn towards. And that's what we're going to play hide and seek with. The idea is we're going to place all of those things into the bag, give the bag a little mix. I'm going to ask each of you to reach into the bag and take out a thing. Obviously, you're either going to take a black bead or one of you will take the pearl. I'd like you to make this selection in complete secrecy. Do not peek. If you don't know what you have, there's no way I could read your body language and get a tell. It'll truly be up to the spirit to try to find the pearl. Uh, are you willing to reach into the bag? You're a very brave woman. Please reach inside the bag, take your time, make sure you have something, hide it in your fist. One thing, one thing only. Have you got something? Yes. Excellent. We'll give this a little mix. Uh, sir, if you would take the next thing, I'll look away. Please reach into the bag, take one thing, one thing only. You have a thing, sir. I do. No peeking. Uh, young lady on the end, are you comfortable taking a thing? One thing, one thing only. And Allison, the last thing is all yours. You can take the whole bag if it's easier to reach in there that way. Once you have something, hide it in your hand. Perfect, and just throw the bag away. We won't need that again. Uh, because it's not about me, uh, it's about her. What I'd like to do is see if there is a spirit present within Evie. So I'd like you to focus all of your attention on her. Uh, and you may get a sense that she wants to communicate with you. You may start to feel your skin prickle. You might feel a little tap on your shoulder. If anything like that happens, uh, do let us know. Uh, do keep your hands in plain view so she can clearly see them. And Evie. If you are present with us this evening, I'd like you to just give us a sign. It can be any sign at all. Um, uh, let us know that your presence is here, and perhaps you could actually tell us uh, on what side of the table uh, that pearl is. If you could just... So you guys are off the hook. Um, <laughs> would you open your hand? Do you have a black bead? Ladies and gentlemen, that is one. Do you have a black bead? That is two. You can place it on the table, sir. Uh, no nightmares for you. <laughs> uh, you guys, sorry. Uh, 
it's the eye contact thing, I think. But very simple. Uh, one of you, we now know, obviously has the pearl. One of you obviously has a black bead. I'd like to use the spirit board to give her a way to truly communicate with you. What I'd like you both to do is focus on that spirit board there. What I'm hoping is this. I'm going to ask each of you to say a phrase. That phrase will be, Evie, I have the pearl. One of you will tell the truth and one of you will lie. I'm hoping that she might give a sign to whoever tells the truth. Uh, are you comfortable saying the phrase? Mm -hmm. If you would, Evie, I have the pearl. Evie, I have the pearl. Did you feel anything, a little tingle, a little tap, anything at all? Okay. Allison? Evie, I have the pearl. Well, I did. I'm gonna stand over here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> okay. Young lady, would you open your hand? Do you have a black bead? Allison, do you have a pearl? I must. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the spirits have spoken. Thank you very much, guys. You can leave it there on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming up. You guys can return to your seats. Allison, thank you so right. much. Thank you. Abel Sinclair and Evie. <laughs> so you work at a haunted hotel? Well, it, uh, we, we prefer to think of it as a historic hotel. Right. You know, people get married there every day. They have anniversaries, family reunions. It's a happy place. And you, Unless you get the heck scared out of you. But, no, it's a wonderful hotel. What attracted you to magic? Uh, honestly, when I got in trouble, uh, I knew a little bit. And uh, when I went away, I studied. And I knew that because of my, my crimes were really kind of deception-based. And I think everybody has a gift. And unfortunately, mine was a gift of deception. Uh, that being said, there are positive ways to use it. Uh, and what's cool about it now is that I spend most of my time not performing, working with at-risk kids. Uh, kids that are at that edge where they're just about to get in trouble. And if you can get one of those kids to stay in school, graduate, and do something, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm very thankful. Well, and you're such an inspiration, showing them how you turned it around. You know, nobody wants to go to jail. Nobody wants to go to prison. And honestly, it's not fun. It sucks. But I went on my terms. Yeah. And I'm able to have the life I have today because of that decision, and my life is exponentially better. Uh, Such an inspiration. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Let's go to the guys and see what they'll share with us. Penn Teller. Wow. Well, I'm still reeling from the uh, from from seeing you again. It's an it's you, an. Honor. You had an accent back at that time. I did. I, you remembered. I do. So, I do. Uh, 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 a, a very heavy accent, which I believe completely. By the way. I, I, and I'm sorry that I fooled you then. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was not. It was not my desire to do any harm. And oh no, I know. Your I hospitality know has changed my life, so I can't thank you enough. And I'm ben. so I'm so glad you you've come around. And you've also picked uh, uh, an area where uh, we care very much about honesty. Likewise. And talking about talking about the dead, and you did a very wonderful job putting that in historic context. I think that uh, it's really important to say, you know, everybody thinks when they see one of these things in a magic show, they wouldn't be fooled. But in the real environment where people are doing this, they're being fooled day in and day Every out. Every day. And scammed out of lots of money. And more, more than that, scammed out of um, the respect and the love and the dignity of people that very much passed so. on. I'm so glad you're doing it right. And also, you've done, you've, you've done that by putting a frame around it. And we like the whole outfit. Thank you. We like, uh, we like the tie. We like the shirt. We like the jacket. We really like the rings. Thank we you. We like the pants, the shoes. Everything gives Thank that you whole very impression. Much. I, it makes it, the whole trick work. It, I it think does. All it of really that does. does. And uh, <laughs> even though uh, we might have a slight idea, I don't think the audience had the remotest idea of how anything was working on, on any of this. I think you fooled almost everyone in the room. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we I don't think fool you fooled you. the two people <laughs> right here. So good to see you again. Likewise, Ben. Uh, thank you very much. It's truly an honor. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. So good to see you again. Thank you. I'm thank so you so much. Thank you. You, so you, 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 you helped. This Thanks. is because Thanks of you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we aren't finished with you yet. More outstanding illusions on the way. 